plans are underway by the Ministry of Information, Communication and Technology to set up high-speed internet routers along the Mamangina waterfront in Mombasa County. This comes shortly after its launch by President Uhuru Kenyatta. According to ICT and Innovation Principal Secretary Jerome Ocheng, the initiative will, among others, enable interlink of surveillance cameras to security agencies as well as establish an innovation hub for young people in the county. Really, we are fully dependent on technology in the many things that we do. So we want to ensure that when people are here, they are able to communicate with uh, whoever they want to, be they here or be they outside the country. And that will also provide an opportunity for even the people who are visiting the waterfront to be an agent of marketing. Holiday makers and tourists were also not left behind as the project seeks to create a conducive environment due to high security provision by the closed circuit systems. Ocheng further insisted that with a faster and reliable internet connectivity at the waterfront, tourists and visitors will be able to market the attractions on various platforms. Nyeri County road network is set for a major boost due to a planned construction and rehabilitation. This comes after the county government procured five trucks to assist in the construction of new roads and the expansion of the existing ones in eight sub-counties of Nyeri. As a way of ensuring that the president's big four agenda pillars are fulfilled, Infrastructure continues to be the key priority. Nyeri County, among other regions, has embraced the initiative and is now complementing the government's roads development agenda by expanding the existing road networks and building new ones in the county. Streetlights also are said to be repaired to enhance security in the county with the help of a cherry picker that was procured alongside the trucks by Nyeri County government. Area Governor Mutahi Kahiga has held the practice however continues to call for collaborative efforts from county governments, the national governments and stakeholders. Shifting gears now, the International Monetary Fund has warned that escalating trade tension could undermine global economic growth. For the world economy, the IMF is now predicting growth of 3.5% in 2019, and in October it forecasts at 3.7%. This and more in our International Business Roundup. warns of risk from a no-deal Brexit. For the UK, the report predicts growth of about 1.5% this year and next, but it also says there is a substantial uncertainty around that figure. Tariff increases imposed by the Trump administration in the US and its counterpart in Beijing have already contributed to a previous downgrade. The IMF also expects China's slowdown to continue. The forecast for this year and next is 6.2%. In addition to growth trade tensions, the report mentions a more substantial slowdown in China in the no-deal Brexit as possible triggers for a future deterioration in financial markets. Elsewhere, entertainment streaming giants including Amazon, Apple, Google, Netflix and Spotify have been accused of breaking the EU's data regulations. General Data Protection Regulation Rule says EU customers have the right to access a copy of the personal data companies hold about them. However, Privacy group Noibu said it found that most of the big streaming companies did not fully comply. Noibu said it had filed 10 complaints with Australia Data Protection Regulator. The maximum penalty for a breach of the GDPR is 20 million euros or 4% of a company's global turnover. Miriam Asava, White 254 Business News. About the art sector don't you go away remember you can be part of our discussion tonight by simply texting us or tweeting us using our twitter handles at ivona anula at y254 channel the hashtag is y254 updates my guest tonight is okaya othiambo we have that discussion coming up for you but for now let's take a very short break and we'll be back